about this new drug going for EUA? Uh, is it is it a bright light? Uh, you must be speaking about Sabizabulin by <laughs> Veru Ver Pharmaceuticals, so V-E-R-U. Um, you know, it's a little hard to pronounce. I think initially I thought there was a T in there, but I would say Sabizabulin with an L. It rhymes with Zelensky. Okay. Um, so this could be exciting. Um, so, you know, we have vaccines up front. Um, we've even got the passive antibodies, but some people get infected. Um, then we have our effective antivirals. That's exciting. Um, but some people will still progress. Some people will still end up in the hospital. And at this point, our options are pretty limited. We do steroids, a little bit of a benefit. Um, we support people with oxygen, other things, but we don't have any dramatic um, medications. But this this new drug, Sabizabulin, um, they submitted their data to the FDA for a pre-review. The FDA said, this looks good. Go ahead and submit for emergency use authorization. This is a medicine that we think stops that cytokine storm, stops oh. that progression of that, and, and over an 80% reduction in death in the data that we've seen so far. So I, I have to say, I'm pretty excited. We still need we still need more medications here. Now, I'm wondering too about um, Paxlovid and, and some of the patients that you're hearing that are having this rebound. Do we need to, I'm saying we, but do, do, do scientists need to take a look at how long the course should be for this medicine? So I think this is this is an important question, um, and we don't know the answer yet. Uh, my buddy Peter Hotez, right? Mm -hmm. he, he he's experiencing this at the moment. Yes. And I'm like Peter, you just you're always just trying to be in the spotlight here. You just want an interview, I think. Um, but what we noticed over time is there are sort of stages of COVID. There's that viral stage for the first week, and I still remember one of our buddies who came on Twitter saying, "I had a, just a virus for the first week, and then I got COVID." I'm like, "No, no. Now you have the second week, that inflammatory phase that we talked about that might end up people in the hospital. Then we have a little bit of." A honeymoon where people are feeling better but then some people and it's about two or three percent we think have this period of about two or three days when the symptoms seem to come back now with all the testing we realize those antigen tests turn positive again um, the fda has clearly said we don't have data yet to support retreating at that second period we also do not know if they're infectious again mm. right should we start isolating um I would think that in a lot of those areas like Taiwan and New Zealand, where they had a zero COVID approach, we would have seen transmission um, because this is something we see in people who get treated. It's also something we've seen over the months in people who never got treated.